hello welcome back to statistics and mathematics youtube channel today we are going to start our studies on hypothesis testing hypothesis testing in our previous video we learned how to construct confidence intervals for the population mean population variance and population proportion this time around we are also going to learn how to construct confidence in, um, hypothesis testing for the population mean population variance and the population proportion so please kindly stay tuned on this youtube channel we are going to learn a lot and at the end of the day everything will be fine so today we are going to start with hypothesis testing as i said so one may ask what is hypothesis testing hypothesis testing is a procedure that uses a random sample to determine whether a statement about population uh, our population should be rejected or not we just a claim about the population parameter and this claim about the population parameter can be either be true or false so what are the population parameters that we have we have three population parameters that the population mean the population variance and the population proportion so these are the three population parameters that we have so we are just going to just test a claim about this population parameters and then we are just saying that this claim about the population parameters can be either be true or false. We have two types of hypothesis testing. We have what we call the null hypothesis and then alternative hypothesis. But one may ask, what is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is a statistical hypothesis that states that there is no difference between a parameter and a specific value. And it is represented by, or it is symbolized by H naught. So here, this is our H naught. And we are just saying that there is uh, no difference between a parameter and a specific value. Right? Mean that they are, they are always going to be equal. They are always going to be equal. And then we have the alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is stating that it's a statistical hypothesis that states that there is a difference between a parameter and a specific value. There is a difference between a parameter and a specific value. And this uh, alternative hypothesis is represented by H1. So in most literature, this is what you usually see, H0 and H1, where we have just learned that the H0 represents the null hypothesis and the H1 represents the alternative hypothesis. We have types, uh, sorry, we have forms of hypothesis testing. And this forms of hypothesis testing is, is really, really important because it's going to help us to construct our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So we have two forms of hypothesis testing. The first one is uh, one tilt test, right? And the second is two tilt test. So I would like us to also go through how one can detect if this is a one tilt test or this is a two tilt test. So one, we are just saying that a one tilt test indicates that the null hypothesis should be rejected when the test value is in the region on one side of the mean, right? So the one tilt test is either a right tail test or a left tail test depending on the directions of the inequality of the alternative hypothesis so within the one tail test we have two forms that is the right tail test and the left tail test and this how can one detect that uh, this preamble is a right tail test or this preamble is a left tail test we can only do this depending on what the alternative hypothesis what the alternative hypothesis is telling us so let's walk through how one can detect if this is one tilt uh, to the right or tilt to the left we can only detect that uh, a preamble is still to the right if and only if our alternative hypothesis is holding a greater than sign is holding a greater than sign we can only detect if our h1 you can only detect if our preamble is um, a right tail test, if our alternative hypothesis holds what a greater than sign. So as you can see here, we are just saying that our theta is greater than our theta naught. It's holding a greater than sign. So here it is just telling us that our hypoth uh, our preamble is a right tail test. So when it is a right tail test, this is how the diagram will be. Right? We are going to have a critical value that, that's k subscript alpha. And this k subscript alpha is going to be fine for what the uh, the distribution table, right? 
and then once you find this k substrate alpha the values before k substrate alpha will be in what that fill uh, the acceptance region which usually we, call, we usually call it to be fill to reject region and then the 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 values after the critical value will be what in the rejection one region so this is how the hypothesis will be set right so in the preamble you'll be seeing something like uh you'll be seeing the preamble will be talking about something like more than greater than and the rest once you see anything inside of preamble they just tell you that we are talking about a right tail test and here our h1 is surely going to be uh greater than right and then the opposite of the h1 is what the h naught. so here we are having greater than right so if we want the h naught to be what less than or equal to right less than or equal to so that's the opposite of what the greater than but in most literature we don't use our theta less than or equal to theta naught right in most literature we just assume the less than or equal to, to what equal to right so that's the reason why you see uh our theta to what equal to so that's how one can detect if this is a right tail test or a, a, a left tail test and once we have seen the greater than sign it just tells us that this is what a right tail test so let's go to the left tail so we have a left tail here we can also detect if our preamble is a left tail test if and only if our alternative, our alternative hypothesis holds a less than sign and you can see here our theta is less than theta naught it holds a left a less than sign so this is just telling us that this is what a left tail test this is a left tail test and then the opposite of the h1 is going to give us the h naught and then we learn that the less than as you can see here the less than as you can see here the opposite to what greater than or equal to by most literature we use what what we call the equal to we are just assume that the greater or equal to is just equal to so here this is how it is right so we are going to have this hypothesis and then we are going to have our critical value to be negative k subscript alpha and the negative k subscript alpha the, the the values before the negative case of alpha will be in the rejection region and all the values here will be what in the acceptance one region so this is how we can detect if our test is to, uh, test to the right or test to the left let's go to the two tail test i told you we have two forms the one form that's the one tail test ha has two uh stuff that's tail to the left and tail to the right so what about the two tail test right so here we have two tail tests so the two tail test is saying that the null hypothesis should be rejected when the test value is either in uh, when the test value is in either of the two critical regions right so either the test value day in this region for at the negative side or this region at the positive side right so we can only detect if our test is a two tail test if and only if our alternative hypothesis is having not equal to sign is having not equal to sign that is when we can detect if our uh, preamble is a two a two tail test right so here we have seen that our theta naught is not equal to our, sorry our theta is not equal to our theta naught so they just tell us that this is uh, a two tail test right so for two tail tests we are going to have a test to the right and a test to the left at the same time right so here in our negative section uh, that's the test to the right. We are having negative k subscript alpha divided by 2. Since it's a two tail test, we are going to divide our alpha by 2. Note that in our right tail test and left tail test, our alpha was just given k subscript alpha. We are having k subscript alpha here. Since they were one tail test, but here is a two tail test. We are going to just divide our alpha by 2. So you are going to get negative alpha divided by 2. Sorry, k subscript uh, negative k subscript alpha divided by 2 and k subscript alpha divided by 2. Of which you are going to get them here right so this is how it will so when we calculate it and it falls in the rejection region we are going to reject our h naught right but if it falls in this region we are going to fail to reject our h naught right so this is how the two tail tests and uh the one tail test look like so in this video i've been able to cover the inflation for hypothesis the types of hypothesis and the forms of our hypothesis in our next video we are going to learn how to calculate critical values from our t distribution table if our alpha is given to us and we are told that it is one tail test or two tail test how we are going to calculate our critical value from the table
so stay tuned on this uh, channel statistics and mathematics to, uh, youtube channel if you haven't subscribed kindly make sure you subscribe like and share so that this video will get viral for people to also watch bye have a blissful day